Dear students, in the last video I took up just 14 quizzes from your question back. Now we are going to have a look at the rest of the questions. So question number 15. Everybody dash listening to music within brackets loves slash love. Loves is singular, love is plural. Look at the subject now. Everybody. You know that the word every makes a subject singular. So everybody is a singular subject and it requires a singular verb. What is the singular verb here? Loves. So the correct sentence is everybody loves listening to music. Okay. Now read the instruction that is given below the sentence. Either, neither, each, everyone, everybody, somebody, someone, Anybody, anyone, nobody, no one and none should be followed by singular verbs. So all these are singular subjects. They need singular verbs. For example, either of them has done it. Neither of them goes out. Singular. Either of them has. Singular. Neither of them goes. Each of them takes it singular everyone comes to college everybody shouts loudly somebody has written that someone has spoiled it anybody understands that anyone knows the answer nobody smiles no one cares and none sits down so all these are singular subjects requiring singular verbs. Now the next question. The cattle dash grazing in the field. Within brackets you have got R slash is. R is plural, is is singular. Look at the word cattle. It looks exactly like a singular subject because it doesn't have S with that. Okay. But the word cattle is plural in usage because it refers to many domestic animals, more than one domestic animal, animals like cows, oxen and others. A calf is, an ox is, but the cattle are, the cattle is a plural subject, so it needs a plural verb. A cow is grazing in the field, an ox is grazing in the field, but the cattle are grazing in the field. There are some more words like that. A list is given in your question bag. Please look at that. First one, clergy, police, people, children, swine, public, gentry, infantry, vermin, poultry and youth. So these subjects, these nouns look singular but they are plural in usage. For example, let us look at the first one. Clergy, what does clergy mean? Clergy refers to a group of priests. A priest is singular. Okay? A priest is helping us but that clergy are helping. Clergy refers to many, more than one priest, so that is plural. The clergy are helping, the priest is helping. Next one, police. Oh, it looks exactly like a singular subject, the police. But the word police refers to many policemen. All the policemen and all the police women. A policeman is, a policewoman is, but the police are the police are doing their duty well a policeman is doing the duty but the police are doing the duty so just like clergy the word police is a plural noun next one people you know that people of india we don't say peoples of india people it's a plural subject so how do you make it singular you can make it singular by using the word person a person has done it but people have done it people don't don't understand that a person doesn't understand so people say plural subject just like the word clergy and police next children you know that 
children is a plural form of the word child. One child, many children. A child has done it. The children have done it. A child is crying. The children are crying. So child is singular, children is plural. Next one, swine. Look at the word swine. Again, it looks singular. Doesn't have an S with that. But the word swine refers to more than one animal. Like, like pigs, hogs and others. Okay. So you should say the swine are destroying the crops. A pig is destroying. A hog is destroying. A sow is destroying. But the swine are destroying. It's a plural noun. Next one now. Public. See, so many people come together to make the public. So the word public refers to more than one person. Many people are referred to. So it's a plural subject. So the public have done it. The public are cooperating with the government. A person is cooperating. An individual is doing something. The public are doing something. Public is a plural subject. Gentry, just like the word clergy, gentry is a plural subject. What is it referred to? The word gentry refers to all the people who belong to the high class. So the gentry are doing something. The gentry are helping the poor people. The gentry are very kind. The gentry are highly cultured. An individual who belongs to a high class is but the gentry are doing a wonderful job. Next one. Infantry. The word infantry refers to many soldiers. More than one foot soldier. So a soldier is doing his duty. But the infantry are doing a wonderful job. Infantry is a plural subject. Vermin. Vermin again looks singular. But it is plural in use. What is referred to? Vermin refers to animals like rats, rodents and other pests. Okay? So vermin, the vermin are dangerous. A rat is dangerous, a rodent is dangerous, or pests are dangerous, but the vermin are dangerous. The vermin is a plural subject. Poultry, just like the word vermin. It is plural in usage. What is it referred to? It refers to domestic fowls like chicken, geese and ducks. We are talking about more than one bird here. So naturally it is a plural subject. Okay. So poultry are. The poultry have. Next, youth. So many people are referred to. So many youngsters are referred to when you use the word youth. So youth is a plural subject just like clergy, police, cattle, etc. The youth are very hard working. A young man is hard working but the youth are hard working. So all these are plural subjects though they look like singular subjects. These need plural verbs with them. Next question now. Neither the teacher nor the students dash a holiday. Neither the teacher nor the students dash a holiday. With the brackets you have got want plural slash once singular. Want is plural, once is singular. Now look at the subject. There are two nouns here. What are they? The teacher, second one, the students. And the linker is neither nor. So you know that when neither nor is a conjunction or either or is a conjunction or or is a conjunction if one of the two subjects used in a sentence is plural then you need to use a plural verb look at the subjects here neither the teacher nor the students there are two nouns here first one the teacher second one the students the first one is singular teacher is singular the students second subject that is a plural so when one of them is plural you need to use a plural verb so the correct answer is want neither the teacher nor the students want a 
holiday plural subject and plural verb next one the news dash very good with the brackets is not slash are not look at the word news it ends with s but still it is a singular subject just like mathematics physics civics statistics gymnastics it's a singular noun and it needs a singular verb so news isn't very good next a lot of people dash complained a lot of people dash complained with the brackets have slash has have is plural has is singular now look at the subject a lot of people what does it mean many people we are talking about more than one so naturally it is a plural subject a lot of people have complained even though the subject begins with the indefinite article a it is a plural subject since we are talking about many people here so a many a lot of people have complained next one the number of complaints dash increasing with the brackets is slash are what are we talking about here we are talking about the number of complaints so what is given importance here the first subject the first noun the first noun is number the number is singular the word number is singular complaints is plural but you should look at the real subject in this sentence the real subject is the number which is singular so you need to use a singular verb the number of complaints is increasing i'll give you one more example a lot of students okay a number of students a number of students or a lot of students that is a plural a number of students have come to the class but the number of students in the class is high or low the number of students singular a number of students plural okay so here the number of complaints is increasing next one every worker dash a name tag every worker dash a name tag with the brackets wears slash where wears is singular where is plural look at the subject now every worker so because of the word every worker is a singular subject every worker is a singular subject and it needs a singular verb and singular verb with the brackets is wears so the right answer every worker wears a name tag next one children dash sweets with the brackets likes slash like children is a plural subject so you should take a plural verb the plural verb with the brackets is like so children like sweets a child likes sweets children like sweets next one sharmila as well as her friends dash honored with the brackets is slash r is is singular r is plural now look at the subject sharmila as well as her friends there are two nouns here first one sharmila second one her friends and the linker is as well as so what rule do we follow when as well as is a conjunction when as well as is a conjunction or the linker the verb should agree with the first subject okay the verb goes with the first subject the first subject is singular singular verb the first subject is plural a plural verb has to be used now look at the sentence sharmila as well as her friends the first subject is sharmila which is singular so you need to use a singular verb here sharmila as well as her friends is honored correct since first subject is the first subject is singular we are using a singular verb here next either suresh or his friends dash come with the brackets has slash have has is singular have have is plural so either suresh or his friends now in the subject okay 
we have got two nouns here. What are they? First one, Suresh. Second one, his friends. The conjunction is either or. Just like neither, no. So what rule do we follow? When one of the two subjects combined by using either or is plural, then we are supposed to use a plural verb. So either Suresh or his friends have come, right? Either Suresh or his friends have come. We are using have here because in this sentence, the second subject is plural. First subject is singular. But when one of the subjects is plural, we should use a plural verb. Either Suresh or his friends have come. Next sentence. One of my cousins dash England, dash in England, with the brackets, is slash r is singular r is plural look at the subject the subject begins with one of you know that when you begin a sentence with one of then you need to use a singular verb so one of my cousins is in england one of my students has one of my relatives is one of my doctors has right one of should be followed by a plural noun but a singular verb so one of my cousins don't say one of my cousin that is wrong one of should be followed by a plural noun here plural noun is cousins but should take a singular verb one of my cousins is in england next sentence now apples and oranges dash available in plenty there are two nouns here first one apples plural second one oranges plural and the conjunction is and so without any doubt you should use a plural verb here apples and oranges are available in plenty next neither of us sorry 27 person number 27 my best friend and severest critic dash my sister with the brackets r slash is r is plural is is singular now look at the subject my best friend and second one severest critic there are two nouns here first one best friend second one severest critic but you know that both these expressions or nouns refer to one person who is that person the speaker's sister the speaker is talking about his sister one sister who is both his best friend and severest critic so since both the subjects nouns refer to talk about the same person one person there should be a singular verb next one now neither of us dash going for marriage neither of us dash going for marriage with the brackets were plural is singular so you know that when you make use of either of neither of each of them etc etc you need to use a singular verb so neither of us singular subject is going for marriage next one the police dash questioning the suspects with the brackets is slash r is is singular r is plural the subject look at the subject the word police is used as a subject here even though it looks singular it is plural in usage so you should say the police are questioning a policeman is questioning a police woman is questioning but the police are questioning next one neither he nor his friend dash arrived with him records has slash have has is singular have is plural now look at the sub subject neither he nor his friend there are two nouns here pronouns here the first one is he second one his friend there are two pronouns subjects 
and these subjects are combined by using neither nor so what is the rule when neither nor or either or is used to combine two singular subjects the verb should be singular so he is singular his friend is also singular so a singular verb has to be used so neither he nor his friend has arrived next let us now neither shyam nor ram dash to be happy with in brackets seem slash seems seem is plural seems is singular look at the subject now neither shyam nor ram there are two nouns here first one shyam second one ram both are combined together by using neither no just like either or and both the nouns are singular so what is the rule when neither nor is used to combine two singular subjects the verb should be singular so neither sham nor ram seems to be happy okay two singular subjects that's why it should take a singular verb next one her friend and guide dash come with in brackets has slash have has is singular have is plural now look at the subject her friend and guide okay her friend there are two nouns here first one friend second one guide but both the nouns refer to the same person because the speaker is using the possessive pronoun her only before the first subject right what is the sentence her friend and guide if the sentence had been her friend and her guide then we should have used a plural verb but here since the pronoun her is used just before the first subject we should make use of a singular verb friend and guide refer to the same person just one person so singular verb next one 30 miles a long way to walk within brackets r slash is r is plural is is singular look at the subject 30 miles so when you say 30 miles do you think about meters you know centimeters millimeter no 30 miles is considered as a unit so when you talk about a unit you need to use a singular verb so 30 miles is a long way to walk okay it's a unit so it is singular similarly next sentence 10 years dash a long time to wait with in brackets is slash r is is singular r is plural so 10 years dash a long time to wait just like 30 miles 10 years is one unit so when you say 10 years you don't think about days weeks and months it's one it is considered as a unit so it should take a singular verb 10 years is a long time to wait next sentence a flock or sheep dash grazing in the field with the brackets r slash is r is plural is is singular look at the subject a flock or sheep what does a flock mean here group right a group of sheep so there are two nouns here first one group second one sheep sheep is plural group is singular so you should consider the first subject now the real subject the real subject is group that is singular that's why you use a singular verb here a flock of sheep is a flock of sheep is grazing in the field students are studying very hard a group of students then the verb should become is a group of students is studying many students are studying plural a group of students is studying because of the word group we use a singular verb next one gymnastics dash my favorite subject 
look at the word gymnastics it is one subject gymnastics just like mathematics physics civics or politics so it is a singular subject though it ends with yes within brackets you have got is slash r is is singular r is plural since gymnastics is the name of one subject you need to use a singular verb here so gymnastics is my favorite subject mathematics is my favorite sub subject physics is my favorite subject okay politics is my favorite subject gymnastics is next one time and tide dash for no one with the brackets wait slash waits wait is plural waits is singular time and tide now in the first part you're going to nouns here what are they time first one second one tide both are singular and these are combined by using and so when and is used to combine two singular subjects we should use a plural verb there's no doubt but here in this sentence both the nouns time and tide refer to just one idea okay so you should take a singular verb time and tide waits for no one even though there are two subjects which are combined by using and we are using a singular verb here because time and tide refer to express one idea just like bread and butter bread and butter is my favorite dish right then age and experience gives me wisdom age and experience two subjects referring to one idea bread and butter two things which give you one idea so time and tide again give you the same idea so singular verb is used time and tide waits for no one next early to bed and early to rise dash a man healthy early to rise and early to bed dash a man healthy with in brackets make slash makes now look at the subject there are two expressions first one early to bed second one early to rise both are singular and the linker is and so we should actually make use of a plural verb here no doubt but in this sentence both the expressions the first and the second one first one early to bed second one early to rise since both these expressions indicate just one idea what's the idea a good habit we are talking about just one good habit what's the good habit here early to bed and early to rise just like bread and butter age and experience and time and time since we are talking about just one idea here we should use a singular verb so early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy now next sentence the leader the leader with his followers dash present here the leader with his followers dash present here with in brackets was slash verb was is singular verb is plural now look at the subject the leader with his followers there are two nouns here first one the leader second one his followers first one is singular second one is plural but the linker is with just like as well as or along with so what rule do we follow here when with is a conjunction as well as is a conjunction the verb should go with the first subject the first subject in this sentence is the leader that is singular so we should use a singular verb the leader with his followers was present here the leader along with his followers was the leader as well as his followers was present here if the sentence had been the followers with the leader then we should have used a plural 
verb. Since here in the sentence, the first subject is singular, we are using a singular verb. The leader with his followers was present here. Polit last question. Politics dash a dirty game. Look at the word politics. Just like mathematics, okay, physics, or civics, statistics, it's a name of a subject. So politics is a singular noun and that should take a singular verb. So politics with the brackets E slash R is a singular, R is plural. Since politics is the name of one subject, we should use a singular verb. Politics is a dirty game. Okay. So with this, I conclude my presentation on Concord. I'm very sure that you have understood how the verbs agree with the subjects in English. Thank you so much for listening to me. I'll be back with another lesson. Thank you.